Assalamu alaikum. You're watching Beauty in the East TV. I'm your host, Samira Atash. Today, Afghanistan is on the brink of chaos. Corruption in Karzai's government is rampant. Narcotics smuggling is on the rise. And Taliban insurgents are becoming more powerful. Millions of Afghans are in despair. There is one woman who is the image of hope and change. She is a doctor, a mother, a teacher, a humanitarian, and a voice of courage. In 2004, she was the first woman to run for president of Afghanistan, breaking barriers placed against Afghan women and inspiring hundreds of other women to become leaders. She is Dr. Masuda Jalal. We moved to Kabul, to the capital of Afghanistan, and until now I am living in the capital of Afghanistan, Kabul. All my education is done inside Afghanistan. All the experiences I have gained in different uh, uh, areas in my profession and um, yeah, has been inside Afghanistan. When I finished Faculty of Medicine uh, as my profession, I started uh, serving people of Afghanistan through uh, medical services uh, for a long time. Also as an aid worker in high level positions of United Nations, I have served uh, hundreds of thousands of um, uh, beneficiaries uh, among the uh, Afghan community in different provinces of the country, including Taliban time uh, when I was uh, heading the women's programs, women's uh, department, and I was acting uh, from my house, uh, reaching about thousands of women or hundreds of thousands of women. I'm happy that I did it at that time. Uh, and uh, I never, I was not able to make such a decision of uh, leaving the job and or leaving the country. I, I had the desire of serving in a broader circle to impact uh, all the citizens' life. So taking the privilege of uh, the opportunity of international community coming to Afghanistan with the slogan of democracy and election. So I thought um, maybe I can get the votes of my people and um, really serve the people in the way that they want. As everybody is witness that um, People of Afghanistan welcomed my candidacy. I went to many provinces, uh, hundreds and thousands of people came together and uh, they welcomed, they supported by voting. I received votes from all provinces and uh, I don't see any other candidate receiving votes from all provinces, um, which was commented later on by the media. Uh, but uh, my votes were qualitative votes because it was legal votes, it came out of free will of people, and it was from all ethnicities, all provinces of Afghanistan. Several thousands of people on free will went to the uh, voting sites and they voted. Being a girl and being a woman in Afghanistan is not uh, easy. It's very difficult to live in a country like Afghanistan uh, once you're a girl or you're a woman. Um, in Afghanistan, the woman's situation is not good. So the Afghan woman's life is full of problems. And one of the key to these problems are that four months from now is the time that the new government will be established. And in this new government, uh, the key for many problems of Afghanistan, not only women's rights and access issue, is women leadership. Uh, we have forced marriages 68% in one of the surveys. We have uh, child marriages going on, forced marriages going on in practice. We have the black price marriages going on. We have exchange marriages going on. We have the provision of inheritance rights in practice that's going on. And uh, we have uh, only 11% of literacy rate among Afghan women. The rest is illiterate. And the values that is reflected in the constitution of Afghanistan, it has not been translated into action. It has remained on the paper and is still uh, violence is going on in different kinds of physical, psychological, sexual violence is going on. Girls are getting uh, uh, acids thrown on their faces in Kandahar province. And uh, also uh, we had a media woman, two media women getting killed uh, last year and the year before. And um, so you see problems are uh, all over. 
women are clean citizens of Afghanistan. They have not been involved in the destruction of the country. They have not been involved in the bloodshed in the country. They have not uh, been involved in corruption that right now is a problem for the government of the country. Uh, and uh, they are not involved in uh, terrorism and insecurity. They are not involved in uh, drug business. And also they are not involved in discrimination agenda. So I always have said during the seven years that Afghan women are the clean citizens. Those citizens that can bring peace and can rebuild the country. We hope that uh, four months from now, where we have the election, there is uh, really a positive change happening in women's life, and it is a uh, normal time for a positive change. We hope uh, that the positive change that has happened in the United States that can be extended to Afghanistan too, and um, healthy elements uh, like uh, women, uh, educated women, uh, uh, women intellectuals and also male intellectuals and technocrats, experts, Afghan scholars can come into political power and can save Afghanistan from, from the current problems that this country has. And, uh, we, of course, people of Afghanistan, we desire for a free and democratic uh, election can reflect the wishes of people of Afghanistan, the will of people of Afghanistan. That is what we desire, but let's see what happens in practice. We hope that uh, the international community, if they support a candidate, they can support a candidate that is honest, that has a heart for Afghanistan, and that is uh, uh, an intellectual, a scholar, uh, a highly educated person, and uh, that is really uh, believing in democracy and uh, really uh, using the energy and support that is given by international community to Afghanistan uh, for implementation of democratic values and for um, building democratic uh, foundations and uh, for uh, really implementing the uh, constitution of Afghanistan, promoting the rule of law and um, uh, observing the human rights values, observing the women's rights and bringing women into the, into the leadership of the country. If Afghanistan continues to be insecure and that is getting worse, the insecurity of Afghanistan has already impacted the security of the world. So that's why the Americans should be concerned about it. Um, because the drug business and cultivation production and business and the insecurity and terrorism is a, a international issue. So that's why the international community should pay attention to that. People of Afghanistan want uh, themselves to be represented by their intellectuals, by their highly educated scholars, by their brains, men and women. People of Afghanistan want discrimination to be ended in the country of different kinds that we have. People of Afghanistan want the corruption to be ended. People of Afghanistan want this drug production and business to be ended and insecurity and terrorism to be ended war to be ended. So how it can be ended? By a good decision of supporting those candidates, that candidate that is representing people of Afghanistan and that is bringing all these positive changes to people of Afghanistan wants. My name is Dr. Masuda Jalal. You are watching Beauty and the East TV.